So, Barry, what would you say was the significance of the Occupy movement as it's developed for the church and for wider society? I'm delighted that the URC General Assembly is debating this issue. Occupy has really caught the attention of the world. Because uh, I think it's it very is speaking out against injustice and looking, I think, which was also important, looking for new ways to organise society. Um, I think it's important for the United Reformed Church to, to express its support for Occupy. I'm very interested to hear that the uh, United Reformed Church is uh, considering uh, the uh, proposed resolution on Occupy and I'd be uh, fascinated to hear the outcome of, of these discussions. It is a vital issue for all churches and it shows very clearly that your church is concerned about the life and death issues of our day because God's interested in them. Well, I think Christians have a duty to point out that every single issue of our world, asylum seekers, unemployment, poverty, are gospel issues and ought to lend their support to those who are highlighting the problems of our world. Listening to the Occupy movement in rural Wales would be of great benefit. Um, what makes me a bit sad really is that I know the URC spoke out in favour of, of the Occupy movement but it didn't sort of disseminate to a wider audience that it was doing so and I don't know quite know how the URC gets its views across. Stand alongside people who are struggling on the margins of society and witness to our belief that another world is possible. Um, as a non-conformist institution, uh, non the uh, URC ought to be a prophetic voice in this country. Standing you visited uh, Occupy Cardiff when Indeed. that was on. Could you tell yeah. us a bit about that? Well, they camped outside the Unite offices and I thought that the Unite Union were just absolutely brilliant because they allowed them the space outside their offices even though it must have inconvenienced them mightily and also too they brought them tea and sandwiches every day and allowed them to use the toilet and the shower facilities that they had up until 10 o'clock at night and I thought well that's real support and uh, I would have hoped that the church would have done the same thing. I admire the people who are doing it. I don't know that I could go myself and sit in a tent and, and, and so on but I think they're doing the right thing. As Christians we can't dodge these issues and if we do dodge these issues then we're not doing justice to our faith.